Okay, I've been getting some questions on the forum about a 14 inch tire versus a 16 inch tire in rough terrain and the comfort of it. So I thought I'd sell it the best way possible by showing you some examples between a 16 inch and a 14 inch tire. 16 inch tire is on the top of the screen. In just a moment, the 14 inch tire is on the bottom of the screen. The first thing I'm going to show you is a two inch gap or pothole. The second thing I'm going to show you is a three inch gap or pothole. I'm going to maintain that anything larger than two inches you should probably try and avoid anyway, but as you can see, it's not much of a difference at all. Uh, the last thing to note is the amount of rubber that's going to absorb a hit. Also known as the sidewall, between this 14 inch tire and the 16 inch tire, you can see that they are exactly the same, just as they are also exactly the same width. Um, and of course, they're both tubed and so the same soft rubber. So the real difference is going to be the amount of gyroscopic force that the wheel provides from its added weight. Um, but other than that, not too much in terms of ride. Well, that's great. Now let's talk about some 18 inch tires because if the 14 and the 16 are the same, the 18 must be the same too. Well, not quite. In 2018, we have ourselves the Z10, which changed everything with a four inch tubeless tire. So there's a lot of mass spinning there. Um, the sidewall characteristics are different. And of course, it's much wider and the shape is different. Uh, the Gotway has also come out with a new version, which has an 18 and three quarter inch tire that's three inches wide. So you can see the difference between the previous version and it. Both of these are going to give you significantly improved ride over a 16 inch. And again, that's got to do with because they're going to absorb more bumps because the sidewall is better and the characteristics are different in terms of the width and the shape of the tire and the tread material and what have you. So I hope that this answers a little bit why I think there's a big difference between 14 and 18, but I don't think there's a big difference between 16 and 14.